Hello. I'm afraid you won't be able to hear the sound effects because of the recording setup I've got. Um, and the mouse cursor that you see on the screen is just an artifact of it running in debug mode. But there are sound effects, and uh, and they are sound a lot like this. Because that's uh, exactly how I made them. So I decided to play around with the first-person um, control system, and the first-person controls work great right off of the bat, uh, no problems at all. The only issue is that the gun, uh, they don't start you off with a, a gun. There's no gun script as far as I can tell. Now making a gun, pretty easy. But you see that reticule? That crappy reticule? It's actually a real pain in the butt. Um, because it's it's not being done the right way. What should what I should do is I should go ahead and paint the reticule on uh, the surface of whatever I'm aiming at. But you can see how far off that is. That's just completely off, uh, and that's because the reticule is just a physical a physical thing floating in front of the gun barrel. Um, and in fact, I think it's even the wrong physical thing. I think that I've made it a uh, I don't know. Um, it's not the right thing to do, and I don't know how to fix that yet. But I'll figure it out eventually. Um, the The core takeaway here is that uh, it didn't take me more than another 15-20 minutes to make it a first-person shooter from being that gallery shooter that you saw before. Um, aside from the crappy, uh, crappy gun sight. It's dead, Jim. A little too close. So there's still plenty of work left to do, but I just thought you might like to see the simple progress that I've been making. I wonder if I can squeeze through here. Oh, I'm too tall. Is there a crouch button built in? Nope. It looks like crouch is auto-assigned to fire. Well, nothing's perfect. Otherwise, I could just say, build me a first-person shooter, and uh, it would do that for me. This is a pretty good pretty close approximation actually. Alright, that's it.